here. 100 metres left to run. Regazzo Daitilli in front. Our gesture is flying. Regazzo Daitilli in front. And he'll hold on. Regazzo Daitilli. The line balances up. Western Artera from the clouds flying. Regazzo Daitilli. Regazzo Daitilli scores. Four-year-old Bay Gilding by changeover out of Matilda Deventer, a Kemi Bears mare. Raced by Darren and Chris Garrard, CJ Garra, trained by Darren, driven by Darren's son Angus, and that's win number four. Yeah, we love him. You know, he started his career at um, Darren and Kylie, Kylie Rasmus and Darren Weeks. They do all our braking, and uh, they at that stage they were taking him through as they raced him as two-year-olds, and we had super success. We got him halfway through his two-year-old career. Darren and Kylie were um, downsizing because they were so busy and had trouble getting staff, etc. And we raced his two-year-old and three-year-old. He performed well, but we've always just looked after him because we know the older he gets, the better he's going to be. So, fingers crossed. He opens up now, Regato Daintilli. He found five metres. Free thinker. Game is Ned Kelly on the outside. Next, Uga Chaka, but Regato Daintilli four on the trot. Favourite does it again. Regato Daintilli. He's building quite the picket fence. Four straight. Well, that was a perfect preparation. He won four. Unfortunately, we missed out on the Rising Sun. We raced the Queensland Sun. Finished on their backs and never got to pull the earplugs or anything and we were left out of the rising sun so we went to the consolation and his run was outstanding. He had, had to do a lot of work. Um, they went a second and a half faster than what they went in the rising sun and yeah but no he's pulled up well he's ready for the Hayden now. The Hayden's a great race. Our um, Q-bred bonus is the best ever um, and yeah everything's going great. It's a great concept. You know, the winner gets to go to the Eureka. Um, you know, an experience of racing in a $2 million race would be unbelievable, just as an experience. Every horse in the race is a threat. Um, that's how we look at it. Um, and at the end of the day, it's up to Angus to do the best he can to see how we go. It'd be really special, you know, we've sort of um, bred him ourselves, the family, and. Uh, and you know he, he's been a great horse to us he's won a feature already and uh you know he, he's been really nice so it'll be good to win this race and then look under the eureka i had a really good start you know my first sort of three or four months were really strong and um you know it's obviously a, a long way to that total at the end of the year but uh hopefully we can pick up speed a little bit and uh might get near 200. And Cinnabon is starting to draw away. Our Sweet Jazz third, but Cinnabon did it the hard way and wins it well, Cinnabon. That was really special, you know, it was family connection again. And, uh, you know, Chris Essex is a great mate of ours and, and, and business partner with dad as well. Um, you know, he, he was sharing an ownership, so it was great to get a massive win for him and for Darren Weeks and Kylie Rasmussen as well. You know, they've been big supporters of mine. And, and, uh, you know, it was great to get a big win like that. CJ's been a, a massive supporter of mine and obviously great grandfather. And, uh, you know, he's sort of been involved in the horses for so long. And, you know, he's won a few of those yearling sale races now. So, um, you know, to, to get one for him and, and hear how excited he was, it, it was amazing. It's a great time of year. I love it. And, um, you know, you get the best horses, the best trainers, the best drivers. and and big money so uh you know it's a great time of year and you know i've been lucky enough to win sort of a couple of good races so far as you say and uh you know to pick up another one would be super exciting